Hi there, a very warm welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to see what is Ionic. Ionic is basically one code base where we will be using HTML, JavaScript and CSS technologies to build our applications and lot many other things which I'll just show you. But before that, I want to tell you one thing. Well, I personally, I am an app developer and I also work with web development. So out here, why I chose Ionic is because it is providing HTML, CSS, JavaScript features to build mobile applications and even I can build PWS also as you can see out here. We can build Android application, we can build a PWA which is a progressive web app which I'll cover up in just a few seconds. Then we have, we can build up an iOS application from that and also we can build desktop apps too using the electron. So now the question comes again, why HTML, JavaScript and CSS? Why are we using these three things? Because basically the agenda is, well, if you are a web developer, you know these three things, HTML, JavaScript and CSS. You are very comfortable with that kind of stuff. And that's what Ionic is targeting. Using these three main things, which is used by most of the developers and using all these three things to build up the main applications that is needed in real day scenario right now, which is our Android and iOS application. Everybody needs that, but it takes a lot of time to build that applications in different, different platforms. You have to learn for Android Studio, you have to learn Java or Kotlin nowadays. Then for iOS, you need to learn Swift. And then similarly for PWA, you have to try with something else like for with Angular also, you can build a PWA. Then for Electron also, you have to go some, for some other things but electron and pw yeah you can build with normal html javascript and css also using some other platforms also all right but for android and ios you have to learn different technologies for that and that is very time consuming and it takes a lot of effort to build applications even if you know all the languages and that is why any comes into very handy it is just like a magic that is it is providing one code base and multiple type of systems that you can build up with this all right so I hope you are grabbing it and that is why using the normal HTML, not actually the normal HTML, yeah, we can still use the normal HTML. I'll show you when we will be dealing with the Ionic platforms, what exactly we are using it out there. So let's dive into what is PWA then. So PWA are basically progressive web apps. So you already know web apps, I suppose that they are just like a website. What is progressive web app? Progressive web apps are basically like a normal web app which actually look and feel like a native mobile application when we are using it in our mobile devices. So it has a lot of many features which we are going to just see right now. But before that, I want to tell you a normal application if you are building using Ionic, how you can convert it into a PWA. Well, you have already seen in the previous slide, I have already explained you that one code base we are using for building all kinds of stuff, but there are slight changes we need to implement in order to achieve the same, which is very minimal actually nowadays, but still we need to apply that up. Say, I'll give you an example. If you're using a back button in iOS, well, it is little different than the one in the Android application. So little changes aren't required in order to achieve the same. But for PW, yes, you can use it as you like, but there are some native features which are not available in a PWA and we can use the minimal plugins which are available in a PWA or progressive web app or even any kind of website such as our camera plugin. We can use the geolocation plugin also for that and few more plugins which we can use just like sharing the things or whatever is needed. We can use it out here. All right. So what are the advantages of using a PWA? Let's check it out. So the first advantage is it loads pretty fast and the best part is the offline functionality. Well, this is not actually you can run everything into offline mode, but yeah, you can load the pages in offline mode. It will load some functionality in offline mode, which you can work with. All right. Just like a mobile application, if it is not having an internet properly, still it loads few pages and you can work around or it shows you a message that you are offline. Similar kind of stuff will work in PWA also. Then comes the respond time. You just uh, visualize a mobile application and think about a PWA. The only difference is, is that it is not published in any stores such as the app stores or the Google Play Store. It is available on the internet as a website. You can just hit the URL and you will get it. All right. That is the only difference out there. 
but it behaves as a mobile application look and feel is pretty much the same and it is fast to use your actions if you are clicking on something it will open up pretty quickly all right so the next thing it is very engaging like i'm already saying every time that it gives a look and feel of a native mobile application in the mobile devices all right so it overall it is a good package to work with we are going to dive into the ionic platform and let's see what exactly we are talking about and how the structure is all about let's learn about it a bit more so out here we will be learning what is the magic behind that how it is structuring each and every stuff properly so let's check this out so at first what is ionic we have already seen that now ionic uses a set of web components well there are a lot of widgets that ionic team provides us which we can use very easily but behind that web components there are a lot of technologies which are being used which is actually html javascript and css let's take an example say like we have four tabs at the bottom of our screen in a mobile view all right now if you click on any tab the screen changes that functionality changes right the event is also getting triggered how that is actually working well that is handled by html css and javascript which is running behind that all the complexities all the complex logic everything is done out there and we are just using that up as a wrapper and implementing all those features into our application and all that work is done by the ionic team so ionic is actually a company name and the product name is also ionic so these are all the components which is provided by them and if we want to build our own components we can still do that and use that up in our own applications and there comes the custom html elements like i already told you that we can use our custom html elements and we can make a component of that and use it up in our application or anywhere else all right so that is what it is all about and that's what we see on the screen so there comes the next thing the output that we see on the screen is based on these things now let's take another example of it if you are a little bit confused like the one i already told you few moments earlier that on ios we are having a back button right it is quite different from the one we have in our android one now ionic web components are so intelligent that it adapts to the particular platform automatically say if you are using it for ios then it will give you that same back button which the ios one already has all right that is the arrow mark and the back text which is written out there similarly if you are working on android platform it will detect the platform and it will give you a simple back button which is used in our android applications or android devices i would say so that's how it it detects automatically and give us that particular design which we want so we don't have to do a lot of hard work out there maximum complexity is managed by the ionic team itself at the very beginning we are just using that up and building our things as we like and this is why our life is made more easier using this web component now the next thing that we are going to look into is the capacitor which is handled mostly by the ionic team itself so this is basically used to interact with our ionic front end and give them the technology or the support to build a pwa with some additional functionalities to use the mobile device functionality such as the camera the geolocation or in a native mobile application you can use lot many features out there that is all handled by the capacitor now out here you can turn a normal web application into a native mobile application using the capacitor plugins so you can just integrate the capacitor with the ionic to achieve the same all right and in fact there is one more tool which we can use to interact with the mobile devices features which is called cordova earlier it was not there earlier there was only cordova we didn't have the capacitor tools out there capacitor is pretty new to work with and it is very promising also because it gives exposure to pwa along with that the native mobile application also we can build up with that so there are two types of thing like i already told you capacitor and cordova we can use any one of those to build our native mobile application the maximum features of a mobile application say like camera geolocation network any other which is needed the gestures also we can use a lot many things all right we can use out there using this particular tools now at last what we get after converting we get either a web app 
if you are using capacitor we can get a web app also or we can run it as a native mobile application so what is the next thing that we need to look into we need to look at the ionic cli so the ionic cli is basically using out here different frameworks to build the whole application so out here we are going to focus mainly on the angular cli but instead of that it is also available to work with other frameworks such as react or Vue. all right so in this the angular cli which it will use behind the scenes which helps us create the ionic projects manage them and use capacitor to convert them into a native mobile application from our web app so basically it is used to help us build the entire workflow of the whole application how it needs to be done everything is handled by this thing and this makes developing pretty easier the creation it also provides a feature for live reload what is live reload actually means is that whenever we are making changes into our application it is reflecting automatically on the mobile devices which is connected it makes the development pretty easier to work with very simple faster and package our application properly now this is the ionic platform and these are the tools which we will learn about in this course so this is the whole idea behind the ionic platform and the ionic does not stop out here it can work with the cloud services also out here the ionic team provides us which is called ionic airflow so what it does is if you want to use the hot code push kind of stuff say like if you are changing your application and you want to publish it automatically you don't want to place it on the app store and google play store differently all right so you can use the ionic airflow method out there if you want to make any changes or you want to publish it pretty quickly you can just use that functionality and it's going to publish your application in the respective stores but it's going to be pretty quick and that is actually a paid service i won't cover up that part in this particular course so if you want you can just go to the official documentation and learn about it so a lot many things ionic is giving us and the best thing to understand all the things is to go to the official documentation so i hope this answers your question to what is ionic so this is just a glimpse of our complete course on ionic from beginner to advanced level and i'll just explain you now how to avail this course it is available on udemy at a price of 199.99 dollars or in indian rupees it is around 12800 but you don't need to worry there is a special limited period offer going on for few days in which you will get around 95 to 97% off which brings the course price down to 9.99 dollars or in indian rupees it is it will be around 360 rupees the price may vary after a few days so do enroll in this course as soon as possible and i'm eagerly waiting to see you in this particular course and if you have any queries regarding this i'm always there to help so you can reach me out whenever you like to so thank you very much